Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniela and if you're new here, I make up cycling videos and also some basic tutorials for sewing and some DIYs. In this video, we will be seeing how did I make this bag. I'll just show you the closer view of it. And the things which are required to make this bag. So let's get into the video. Let's start with the things required to make this bag. First one is this plastic canvas. I have this rectangular canvas. You need the plastic bag canvas which you get on Amazon. I will add the link of that canvas on the description box below. But that would be a little expensive. I got this for 10 rupees. You need two of them and we will be converting it in the plastic canvas for bags. You will see it in the video. How did I do it? The next one is the ribbon. So you need three of these. It looks like this. I'll just remove this. Okay. So you need, you need three of these. The next thing that is required is the tapestry needle. It looks like this. Not sure if you can see. Yeah. So you have to make sure that your tapestry needle can go through the holes which are present in your canvas. So like this. The next thing that you require are the magnetic buttons. They look like this. And you need two of these. The next thing that you require are these metallic triangles. I have used the squared ones. But don't use the squared ones. Use the triangular ones. These are better. And the last and not the least is this chain. Which you require. You will get these things on any craft store and you will also find them on Amazon. I will try to add the link of all the products in the description box below. But if you get it from the craft store, it will be cheaper. So first try to find it there. And if you don't get it anywhere, you can go on Amazon and buy it from there. So without any further delay, let's get into the video and see how to make this beautiful bag. First, we will make a bag canvas using these rectangular canvas. I have shown in the picture here what are the measurements for the back canvas and how it will look like. I started with marking the 7 inch width and I have cut it. Now I will also do the similar marking on the second rectangle as well. Because for the length one is not enough. So on the second rectangle I have marked the 7 inch width as the first one and I will go ahead and cut it. Now we will measure the length of the back. So if you see, it's 10 plus 2 plus 5, which is 17. So I kept them side by side and marked a line on 17 inches. And then I will go ahead and cut it. We need to still connect them. But first we will create those wings, which you see on the sides. The length of the wings are 5 inches and the width is 2 inches. So I will just go ahead and cut those two rectangles of length 5 inches and width 2 inches. I need 2 of those rectangles because there are 2 wings as you saw in the picture. Once you cut these 2 rectangles, just go ahead and place them like this to see if it is correct. It looks fine so now we will go ahead and connect them. For connecting we are going to use the ribbon. I will cut it in a slant way. Okay. And then I will use tapestry needle to stitch it. So I will start with inserting the ribbon in the first hole. And then on the second canvas, I will just go ahead and insert in the second one. Okay. And then I will insert the ribbon in the second hole of the canvas from the top and take it out from the bottom like this. And then insert it in the second canvas from the bottom. And take it out from the top. This is like the normal stitching that we do. So you just have to go ahead and repeat the process for the entire row. You don't have to do the stitches in all the holes. You can skip holes in between. That should be fine. So repeat this process for the whole row. And also attach the wings in a similar way to the canvas. And once you have done that, it will look like this. Now we will go ahead and add the ribbons on the entire canvas horizontally and vertically 
like how we have on the back i am going to make a square of 9 by 9 not inches but i am going to take 9 holes horizontally and 9 holes vertically okay you can see i have kept some part of the ribbon at the end then i will count till 9 and then insert a ribbon from the top to the bottom okay for the next row i will again start from the leftmost but this time i will insert the needle from the bottom okay like this and then again count nine squares and then put it in the ninth hole okay like this you have to keep repeating the process till you have done a square of nine by nine i will show you for one more row how i have done it don't worry about the small tail that is not going to come out after you have done several rows also these are the horizontal rows okay once you have done all the nine rows what you have to do is you have to insert the ribbon in the stitches like this to secure it okay just do it one or two times the ribbon is not going to come out don't worry i have overdone it don't overdo it like me your ribbon will be secure even if you keep only one inch of tail that should be fine okay And once this is done, just cut the ribbon. So we did the horizontal row. Now we have to do the vertical rows. Okay. Start from the same row where you ended it. Okay. So you have to start from the ninth hole. Don't start from the tenth. Okay. You can see I have kept some tail. And then I will count nine vertically. And then I will insert the ribbon. Now repeat the same process as you did for the horizontal row but this time do it vertically. Make sure your tail will be covered by those stitches that you are making. The tail should not hang outside of the stitches. Okay. Keep repeating the row. You have to do the same thing for the whole canvas alternatively horizontal and vertical. Once you have done several rows, it will look something like this. Okay. You can see it's still not finished. But once you have finished the entire canvas, it will look like this. I didn't do the wings because on the wings, I need to attach this metal squares. So for that, fold your canvas in the back shape. So this is how it's going to be. So you will understand where you want to attach these metal squares. Now mark the midpoint, I am taking 2.5 and then here I will attach my metal square. Okay, see how am I going to attach it. I am starting it from the fourth hole and then I will keep this metal square between the stitch and then I will do the stitching like this. Okay, also you can see that I have left one of the hole in between otherwise it will be too tight. So you have to make sure that your top and bottom stitch has one hole in between. Okay. You can see how am I doing it and just do the same till you reach the end of the metal square. Once you have done that, you have to also make sure that the ribbon is safe and secure. So do some stitches here and there and then just cut the ribbon again three or four stitches are enough don't do a lot of stitches like i did i have not done a lot of stitches on the other side so yeah few stitches are enough to secure it once you have done it it will look like this now for the sides we will start from the second hole okay from the sides and even when you are ending it you have to end it not on the last but on the second last hole okay i'm just going to do the horizontal stitches on these wings so keep doing it till you reach the square metal it's just the same procedure that you have to also do around these metal straps or stitches that we have done 
but we have to make sure that these stitches are well covered okay because they should not be visible once you are done with the wing do it on the other side as well for the other wing and it will look like this you can see that the stitches are not visible okay now we need to attach the sides together like this okay so i will start with the sides we have to start from the top okay don't start from the bottom because if you have some mismatch in the number of holes on the sides and on the wings then it won't be that visible at the bottom since we have done the measurement there should not be a lot of difference one hole or two holes maximum but not a lot of differences just see how am i stitching it you have to do the same thing it's the same thing as we did while stitching those two rectangles together so you just have to do the same thing here as well do it for both the wings on both the sides so it will look like this once you are done with it it will look like this okay now you can see there is some canvas visible it should not be visible so what we have to do is we have to do the stitching around those corners as well so we will start with one corner and see how am i doing it when you are doing the stitches you have to make sure that your ribbon goes over the plastic canvas okay like this okay so that it will not be visible so your ribbon is basically covering your plastic canvas corner okay you can see how am i doing it you have to do the exact same thing this is how it looked after i did several stitches you can see how it looks and i have to do the rest of them as well so i will go till the end of the other corner once you have done that it will look like this okay do the same stitches on the flap of the back now let's attach the buttons you have to insert these magnetic buttons through the canvas and i'm going to use this thing from kitchen to bend the metal hooks you have to do the similar for the other one as well and insert it in such a way that the ribbon will cover the metal hooks make sure you move the ribbon when you are bending the metal hook and once you have bent it then move the ribbon back to its place okay like this after this you might have some ribbons or tails hanging outside so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use the fabric glue and i'm going to attach them so that they won't be hanging outside sometimes the ribbons won't stay in place even after you have uh, attached the glue when the glue is wet so what you have to do is keep something heavy on it and then let it dry overnight then add your chain and your bag is ready